secured the package. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys what it is. I just found a diaper in the washing machine. morning guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if you are new Good morning, guys. we are on our way to go pick up something very exciting hopefully I say hopefully I will explain later why it's been a very long complicated process to get this so that's where we're headed off right now I have a lot of things I want to get done today some spring cleaning some organizing um, but first I need to go and try to pick up this package <laughs> And I will fill you guys in when we hopefully get it as to why it was so complicated to get in the first place. If we don't pick it up, then I will also explain what's going on. But I'm hopeful that it's going to be there and that I'll be able to get it today. So let's go and hopefully pick it up. Okay guys, we are back home. Secured the package. I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you guys what it is and then I will get into a backstory of why it was so freaking complicated to get this in the first place. So let me go grab some scissors. Okay. I am so freaking excited. After four, almost five years of vlogging with a heavy DSLR camera, I finally got a new easy to hold vlogging camera. That's mommy's new camera. What is that? It's a new camera. Is it white? Yeah, it will be on the inside. The backstory is I went to go get a new camera and I went to London Drugs and I picked up the camera and I was super excited and the quality was awful. I filmed a whole vlog and it was so bad that I couldn't even like bring myself to upload the footage. So I returned that camera, which it was a Canon um, SX740. So I returned that and decided to order one online. I knew this camera was good. My friend Hannah, who also vlogs, has the same camera, and I knew it was good, and I've heard tons of good things about it. The only thing that was holding me back was that it wasn't Canon. I've always been a Canon girl. I've been very faithful to it, so I feel like I'm kind of cheating on Canon right now. Um, but you know what? It's okay to veer off, so I did, and I think I'm going to be very happy with my decision. It is so beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Once I charge the battery, I'll show you guys the quality of this one and then compared to this one. But I will also show you guys the size difference. So this is the new camera size. And then I will show you guys how big and bulky this one is that I've been using for the last four, almost five years. Okay, you guys, here is the new camera. This is so weird. I am not used to it yet. Um, there are definitely settings I need to play with here, but this is so much lighter and it's gonna be so much easier to do vlogs, especially like grocery shops and stuff like that. So I'm so excited and very grateful I was finally able to get a new camera. This has been my faithful vlogging camera, photography camera, and I will still be using it for photography, um, but it will no longer be my vlogging camera. But thank you very much because you did such a good job for so long, but you are heavy. So, <laughs> we're gonna just let that be my photography camera, which is very nice to have like separated cameras, one for photography and one for YouTube, because having the same camera for both was kind of annoying when it came to charging the battery and memory cards. So, anyways, I need to tidy up this house and then get to some deep cleaning because it is a uh, tornado right now and my kids are in quiet time so I'm going to tidy this up and then do some deep cleaning that needs to be done very badly it is mostly tidied up in here we just have the actual cleaning to do but I'm gonna actually start with the windows which is something that doesn't get done nearly enough including like in here in all the crevices because it is quite disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all this 
gunk out of here. Um, and then I'm also going to even clean like this part of the sliding door. Let's look how gross that is. I would also like to sweep the patio out here.
Okay, my next task is the laundry room, which honestly, like, it's not that bad. That side doesn't need to be really touched. I just need to go through all of this and, like, reorganize it. It's kind of just messy and looks unorganized. So I need to go through this and fix this situation. And then also over here, this stuff needs to move to the other shelf that I just showed you guys. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I just wanna quickly go ahead and organize that. better we just have paper towel my vacuum attachments laundry baskets bottle basket laundry soaps and then I put all of our laundry bins in here I've gotten to the point where we have so much laundry all the time that I actually need to have separate bins for everyone it makes it so much easier when I'm actually washing laundry to sort and then I've got all their play-doh their coloring and sticker stuff their sinks kind of have to go on separate shelves. I had to put their sinks on separate shelves because they don't really stack up onto each other. Um, all their paint stuff is right here. And then all my paint stuff is right there. That's no one's Easter basket. We've got my file folder, some random stuff up here, um, a board game, and then just, yeah, just some random stuff at the top that we don't touch often. I feel like it doesn't look that much better but I promise you guys it's way more organized and I feel like my brain can actually think when I come in here now especially having the laundry baskets be just right here then I can just speaking of I need to throw my daughter's clothes into the dryer before I forget okay so scratch putting her clothes in the dryer I just found a diaper in the washing machine and all the gel stuff got all over her clothes. I'm not even sure how a diaper ended up in there, like at all, it must have been inside of her pants and I didn't notice. So love that for me, I gotta rewash those clothes. Okay, last order of business, I need to clean the bathroom. I feel like it doesn't look that bad, but it is gross, it has not been cleaned in a while. I have been very busy. So we're gonna go ahead. The toilet is honestly the most disgusting. That is so gross, I was so ashamed. In my defense, you guys, I switched to having my kids pretty much full time. So I haven't really had like a break. The only break I've had has been while I'm at work, which obviously like I can't clean my house while I'm at work. So I've been doing little bits and pieces here and there with the kids around. The bathrooms have just been neglected. So I did clean the upstairs bathroom earlier off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one really quick for you guys.
You can because he's sleeping. It is like nine o'clock. My son is asleep. He is not feeling good. He went to bed early, passed out really quick. My daughter is awake with me. Um, she had a very late nap, so she is up hanging out with me, which is fine because she's pretty easy to get stuff done with. Um, I might have just jinxed it. Oh, thank you. Hello, yeah, we have to close the door so we don't wake up, brother. Um, I have one last thing I need to do kind of declutter um for the summertime now i did go ahead and do a very thorough closet to clean out for my closet and my kids closets like a couple weeks ago i didn't film it it was just something that i sporadically decided to do um during the day so that was done but in doing that there is more steps that i need to do this is all my stuff that i am getting rid of a big Walmart bag full of clothes that I no longer wear, no longer want. This stuff is all the kids' stuff that I went through that don't fit them anymore. I need to thoroughly go through them and see if there's anything that I particularly feel like saving from them. I have saved so many of their clothes, but I feel like it's time to stop saving everything. A lot of these are Scarlett's dresses that I had her in her monthly photos in, so I'm not getting rid of a lot of these. All this stuff here um, stays. I feel like after like two years old, I saving stuff is kind of silly because they start getting like wrecked and stuff. These are in pretty good condition. I considered actually taking a lot of the nice stuff to consignment, so I might make a pile of like nice clothes, a pile of clothes that I don't want, just get rid of. And then if I want to keep any. But these are in pretty good condition. So I think I'm going to put these in a consignment pile. Yeah. Get rid of. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> a fun. Say E-I-I-O. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to whiz through this really quick. And then show you guys my piles afterwards. Because I feel like this is going to take quite a while. Getting rid of. Getting rid of. Decided I didn't feel like going through with consignment. I just... Is it pool? Is it the pool? So I had this stack of That's stuff I was going to give to consignment. But I decided to just pass it on to a thrift store. Um, so these are both oh all getting rid of. That's getting rid of. Oh shoot. I just remembered I need to go through this bag too. This bag was sitting in my storage and I have no idea what's in it. It's a mix of their clothes. And then this is keeping stuff that's um, special. So that is my saving pile. And then these I found and they're literally size four. So I'm not even sure why I had them in that pile at all. But Noah will fit these in the summer. So we're gonna keep those. And same with this shirt, which is like massive on him. Okay, my car is literally full of stuff to get rid of which feels so good. So I'm going to have to take all this to a thrift store tomorrow because as you can see, it is super late. It feels so good to declutter, especially like before it gets hot out and you know, no one wants to like <laughs> spring clean or go through things when you're sweating to death. So it's crazy because I've been like decluttering a lot lately and I even organized my storage unit yesterday, also off camera, which is why my car was already partially full of stuff and it looks so much better in there. It's mostly just Christmas stuff now and it just feels so good. Like I feel like there's no part of my house right now that feels cluttered and it feels amazing. The next thing I do need to go through, which I don't even want to attempt <laughs> until I can focus on it is books because we have a lot. We have so many kids books and I do love having them, but they're piling up. There's just too many of them. So I definitely need to go through those and see if there's any we can donate of those but for the most part everything feels so much better anyways i'm going to end this vlog here i need to edit this vlog now and get myself to bed and my daughter to bed so thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in the video 
appreciate you so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so before you go so you do not lose our channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. If I had a boat, I would sail out. Take every brother and sister of mine. We'd row in the sunshine and sleep.